my name's Leonard Trammell, and I was involved in the personal computer industry for quite some time. Uh, I was on the team that developed the Commodore PET, um, and then actually went off to graduate school and didn't have any direct involvement in the uh, VIC-20 or Commodore 64. Had some indirect work with uh, some of the engineers in marketing folk, and of course with my dad. The way Commodore got into the computer business was completely by accident. So he found a calculator chip company, or a company that made calculator chips. Um, and it turned out they were not doing all that well financially, and uh, bought them. And one of the projects that this company uh, was involved in was a, a little thing that he knew nothing about uh, called the microprocessor the uh, MOS Technology 6502, uh, which was probably the most used microprocessor of all time. Uh, the, all the Commodore machines uh, in that series, the PET, VIC-20, Commodore 64, all of those, all of the um, Apple 8-bit machines, all of the Atari 8-bit machines, um, including the Atari Video uh, Entertainment System, and the Nintendo machine all use that same chip, which is really quite amazing. You know, how do you make it work? You've got to have some programming going along with it, needs to have some memory, needs to have some I.O. So Chuck designed um, the Kim, which keyboard interface module, if I remember correctly. Um, and it had a, a 16 button keyboard that allowed you to enter uh, commands, uh, program the thing in, uh, in assembly language, uh, or actually in binary, in hexadecimal code. Lots of fun, this, that's the way all programming should be done. Um, and that was the first personal computer I ever used. Uh, I had a Kim in my bedroom. Chuck had designed the chip as a first step in a process uh, where he wanted to make, uh, and this is going to sound pretty funny, he wanted to make household robots a thing. So the first thing he needed was a really inexpensive microprocessor. And he met with my dad and said, I'm going to make this computer. If you want Commodore to make this computer, I'll work for you, and Commodore will make this computer. Dad said, okay, let me think about it. And he came home and spoke to me and said, I have no idea what he's talking about. Come meet this guy, talk to him about it, and tell me what you think. So after the meeting, he talked to Dad, and I said, this, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. And Commodore went into the computer business.